Alrighty then, successful indie author, five minute focus, episode 655, an introvert's prison. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He moved up. He's over by the chair. There we are. Chair clothes. When there's too clean to put in the washer, but not clean enough to put back in the drawer. Alright. An introvert's prison. Uh, this is a hard episode because, uh, as introverts, we say things that we will replay in our minds for the rest of our lives. I've been uh, uh, stuck on something that happened when I was 16. 16. Yet still, I, I, I find it appalling, and I'm glad I learned from it. But uh, damn, it's still there, and it still grates at my soul. The good thing is, no one remembers those words. No one. Not like you do. You remember everything. You remember the scene. You remember uh, the feel. You remember everything, and especially the words. And what you can't remember is why you said that. Uh, maybe looking for approval. Maybe looking for uh, uh, some humor. But no matter what, it fell flat, and you got you got it right in the face. So why did you say it? Doesn't matter. Don't know. It's just you did. And you will replay that forever. And that is an introvert's prison. Now, you probably apologized at some point. And do you remember that apology? Do you remember anything else about it? Do you remember the positives that were all around that? Uh, that's what you got to try to focus on. I mean, it's easy to say, almost impossible to do. However, uh, you got to move forward. Eyeballs in the front of your head, right? You got to move forward. What's out the windshield as opposed to looking in the rear view and suffering because of it? Uh, how much are you going to force yourself to suffer for what you said and, most importantly, what people don't remember? If you're an extrovert or if you really want to uh, not just annoy somebody but drive them to the, to the edge, drive them to, to, to take the bridge, uh, tell them, oh, man, I remember this thing you said. That was horrible. What were you thinking? There you go. Cement it forever and make the person descend into the depths of despair. Don't do that. If you do remember something stupid that they said, forget it. And help them forget it by focusing on the positives. There's a lot of good stuff on there. Uh, <clears throat> don't, t don't let it take up more brain space than it's worth. But you're an introvert, and this is what you do. However, you give it space, and then you move on uh, because you've got a lot of other stuff going on. Uh, train yourself. One of the most important things you can do is be comfortable with silence. Be comfortable with being in an extrovert's world where, uh, and then you have to, where you're forced to speak. So what do you do? Memorize some phrases and just go with those. Uh, <clears throat> hey, have a great flight. Thank you, you too. Uh, to the TSA guy, he's not taking a flight. How many times have you done that? Memorize phrases. Hey, pick, a, pick the introvert out of this crowd. That's how you do it. <laughs> you see what those memorized phrases are, and they just deliver them uh, almost rote. Don't, don't hurry the words. You're not in a hurry to say anything. Just uh, uh, say your piece, think about it for a second, move on. Now, the thing with introverts also is you think about it for a day or two before you remember that you think about that witty comeback. Oh, man, if I only said this, it's okay if you didn't. It's okay if you said nothing, probably better than saying something that's really off the wall or untoward. So... Control yourself, be happy with the control you have over yourself, and look at the positives that surrounded a situation as opposed to those three stupid words that you said that had nothing to do with anything that everybody else there has forgotten. That's the best thing that you can rest on is that this thing that happened 50 years ago, everybody has forgotten. Don't worry about it. You will, but don't let it, don't let it occupy too much of your soul because... Think about all the other great things that you're doing, all the other great things you've done, and try to keep doing great things moving forward. Like this morning, thinking about this one, I gave away uh, some more scholarships. We're up to uh, uh, $22,000 in scholarships awarded for 20 Books Vegas. That makes me feel good. That takes me away from thinking about these other things, like something that happened when I was 16, for Pete's sake. I'm in a better place now. And because of what we learned from those things we did, uh, but still, you will always live within the introvert's prison because what's going on in your mind, it's there forever. Just don't let it take up too much of space. Give it a really small cell. Peace, fellow humans.